one owner and just beautifully well kept. 274 rear kitchen Cherokee, which is a very popular model that we also carry new here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan, came in and this is exactly how you hope every used RV looks when it shows up. Uh, whether you know it's us here at the dealership or you when you come to the dealership to see one, this is the diamond that you're looking for. And I make no exaggeration when I say this is clean. In a lot of respects, this is better than brand new. The folks actually went through and they did some very simple but really nice smart upgrades. I'll point those out as we go through. But um, like I said, clean, well kept. If you've been looking at a, uh, a rear kitchen trailer but you've been a little scared off by the new RV price tag, don't wait. Don't this 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 is gonna get picked off fast. So um, full size like max size windows here in this super slide, giving us uh, maximum light and airflow. Above the slide we have that blue LED uh, you know disco night light, but uh, it works really well uh, in the evening hours, and it, it kind of makes the uh, the white countertops and the light wall panels glow a little bit, unless you see around in here. We do have central air, we have central heat, uh, LED lighting, everything is in fantastic working order. Um, little things like this, I like that like your outside lights, you can, uh, can kind of see the switches here so they're easy to access. So this thing's so nice, what's it doing here? That's a good question. Um, basically folks loved camping and they decided they wanted to do more of it and needed more camper. And they swapped this up for a big triple slide Rockwood uh, Vino's Windjammer here at Haywood RV. Now they're from uh, Joliet, Illinois. They made the uh, trip over here. They actually went to the Florida RV Super Show where they first saw the Windjammer. But uh, the fellow that they spoke with down there, he didn't seem to know much about the trailer. Then they found us online. And we did seem to know a lot about the trailer. And they decided to make the trip over from Illinois to Southern Michigan to make us their local dealer even though we may not be their backyard dealer. And I think that says a lot about the work and the confidence that we have with people here at Halet RV. I'm, I'm darn proud of this one even being here. So our dinette, we've got dual 40 inch dinette drawers and it's so funny, it wasn't too long ago. I remember the, the, the little nuances they made, the changes, like this decor is called natural. Like I, I remember that, you know, the this is a hardwood tabletop, which is kind of cool. Um, it uh, it's not like a a resin or anything like that. That's something that they did for that year. I kind of miss that, but um, I don't know. I kind of like the, the the sealed edge counters that they have nowadays too. I, I mean, there's a reason Cherokee's been like the number two seller in its class for a very long time and number one from Forest River. Forty inch full extension dinette drawers means getting to that storage is easy. And speaking of easy storage, really smart, intelligent thing they did here. When the super slide is closed, this. Uh, pantry door is behind it. Well, it's possible if you hit a bump or jump real hard, that door could open and get caught behind the slide flange. Then when you open the slide out, it could catch and crush this door. So the folks said, no problem. We'll put a little uh, bullet latch on there to make sure that's not going to happen. Real smart. Then they added this uh, inside the door uh, little shelf organizer system right here and added so much storage to an already very large and generous pantry. And as if rear kitchens didn't have enough countertop and prep space, they said, you know what? Let's have just a little bit more. And they added that beautiful little uh, countertop extension right there. And anything that these folks did, they really did a nice job of it. And uh, case in point, when I first looked at this camper, I walked in and my eyes immediately took a beat on something that someone who isn't really in tune with this product would never catch. I went, wait a minute. When did Cherokee do a split sink cover? I've never seen Cherokee do a split sink cover. And then I realized, wait a minute, they did this. This is the standard factory sink cover, and the folks very carefully had it split down the middle. They, I mean, very nicely. They, if, if I didn't mention that, you'd have totally thought that was factory work. That's the kind of care and attention to detail and concern the folks had in this. The recessed sink and stove give you just incredible prep space, and I love all the big windows and cabinets in here. The skylight lets in some extra light, but it does have a shade in case it gets too hot. But speaking of light, all the big windows and this floor plan having that giant 
picture window off the door side of the camper directly across from the giant picture windows and the slide out give this thing incredible cross breeze airflow it's one of the best models i've ever seen for that um the original pushback uh recliners these things can lay nearly flat now uh you notice that they strapped them down in transit which a lot of people don't do they don't take the extra time again that's the extra level of attention to detail these folks put into this camper right here. Um, the uh, seating in a rear kitchen is something that I like. I talk about that a lot because it's very social. It's very inward focused. Very nice in that way how everything sort of focuses inward on us. Um, moving forward, I kind of miss that old pretend brick wall. I don't know. It just had a nice little character to it. Bluetooth, DVD, stereo, good stuff. Um, over here, as we now there's little command strip hooks here, there, and everywhere. This is one thing I definitely want to point out. Um... In an uncommon turn of events, these folks did not prefer the normal swinging bedroom door. They replaced it with this accordion door here. But, don't have a heart attack. Like everything else, they did it nicely. They saved the original door. They saved all the original hardware. So six screws is all it would take to put that door back here on the bedroom if you are so inclined to do so. And again, that's something I preach all the time. If you modify an RV, then make sure you can revert it to factory spec, uh, you know, so that the next person doesn't think you're a hillbilly. These folks most certainly were not. Now, in both the bedroom and the bathroom, they actually installed their own light switches. And they did a beautiful job running this conduit up here and actually snaked the wiring through the ceiling panels like... I don't know if that was professionally done or if they did it, but it, whoever did it did a knockout job because it is so nice being able just to have a light switch instead of having to go click, click, click with all the lights. Now, here in the bathroom, we have the bigger Max Air vent fan for maximum airflow. Nice standing corner shower instead of a tub and a very awesome, generous linen cabinet in here, which is something that I think has always made this floor plan very successful. But... Just like in the kitchen, we've got waterproof countertops here in the bathroom as well. Little things like this, like a little door latch for privacy in the bathroom. Like I said, simple, easy things they did to this camper really made it work. Such as, once again, adding a, a switch for the light here in the bedroom. Now, it does look like they may have had a TV installed over there at some point. They did uh, keep the TV and the wall mount for their new Rockwood that they are taking home here from Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, let's see here. Other than uh, mentioning the extra large windows in the hallway and the bedroom, I think we're pretty much good on the interior. The good news is the exterior is really just more of the same and it's just all good news. So 6,545 pounds, we're very half ton towable. We've already established this thing is clean, <laughs> beautiful, well kept. And um, I spotted another little um, upgrade doodad whatever you want to call it here that the previous owner put in and that is that they installed their own plywood bulkhead wall right here under the bed so that you have separate storage in this pass-through versus uh under the bed you don't have uh um, equipment bleed as it were we do have a simple solar prep plug next to that cargo uh bay there um power awning with a blue led light strip under it which is a little different this camper does have enclosed holding tanks it's not a four seasons camper um, it is just, it has a little extra protection against debris, and if it gets a little bit cold overnight, you're going to be good here. It looks like they may have actually upgraded the holding tanks, too. Or not the holding tanks, but the propane tanks. This normally had 20 pounds. That's a 30-pound propane tank cover. Now, I haven't peeled that off. I just kind of noticed it. So either they put a bigger tank cover on this, or they actually put bigger tanks on it. Wow, I'll have to investigate that a little further. Anyway, um... Assuming I don't forget, it's it's been a crazy day. I've had 23 campers show up today, and I am I I hope this is coming out great. I feel like I'm going through the motions. I'm just on autopilot right now. Uh, what are we getting at? Seal gripping, leak preventing slide walls with that cottage cheesy texture, and right next to that we have black tank flush and outside utility shower doing a good job. There's a good look at those big windows, letting in all that beautiful natural light. We do have oversized downspouts to cut down on black streaks. A full walk-on roof. Uh, 5 8 uh, tongue roof plywood floor deck, 12 inch on center floor studs, average of 12 inch on center wall studs, some closer, some further, but that's a very high quality in this industry. Um, and uh, a 3 8 roof deck with uh, 16 inch on center, 5 inch roof trusses to give us a 2,800 pound roof rating that is all day walkable. We are backup camera ready, and I am way off center with the camera. I need to pay a little bit better attention. There we go. 
Fold down cargo rack on the back here, roughly 200 pound rating. You do not need to remove the spare tire to operate that, thankfully. Uh, we talked about the power awning. It's an easy tilt power awning. And we do have outside TV hookups that are connected to the DVD stereo. So if you do... Ch oh, yeah, and by the way, we also have a nice little um, friction hinge entry door. Those are adjustable hinges. So if you want more or less tension, you can just kind of manipulate the screw on there to get what you're looking for. Can't say enough good about her. This is sharp. It is not going to last. Um, it is late model enough. You can get same as new financing on it more than likely. I, everything is pending finance, but that shouldn't be an issue. So if that looks good, I wouldn't wait. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.